Hi everybody, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine. Uh, you can visit our website, that's down here, scubadivermag.com. Check out all the awesome things that we do over there. Uh, whilst you're here, don't forget to uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the Scuba Diver Magazine YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you have a scuba diving question or a topic that you would like to discuss, then type it down in the comment section underneath this video and use the Arthmark hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video. I do my best to answer any question that's asked in the comments uh, as well as the rest of the viewers they um, they answer some questions which is nice of them but the ones that have a uh, an ask mark hashtag do get preferential treatment and i do my best to uh, to answer them as quickly as possible uh, today i'm answering a question from alexander about long-term narcosis <laughs> So Alexander says, hi Mark, I have a question. We get always told that nitrogen narcosis, a similar effect like alcohol have, and I wondered if you are theoretically deep in the water long enough, could you get something like a hangover? <laughs> no. However, uh, th there does have to be a caveat when we talk about these kinds of discussions and the comment section is gonna be rather interesting on, uh, on this one. For most, cases of just recreational scuba diving as soon as you ascend and the pressure around you reduces the nitrogen that's absorbing your tissues and other narcotic gases in your tissues because it's not just nitrogen are usually flushed out of your body and the narcotic effect just wears off no hangovers no long-term hangover type effects but of course there is a chemical change in your body and every body is different and we still don't know exactly what's going on we we have a we have lots of theories the modern theory is that inert gases like nitrogen dissolve in the lipid bilayer of uh, like cell membranes it's like a, a fatty layer on the outside and this causes a like numbing narcotic effect uh, they think that or it's like a neurotransmitter protein and um, and it gets blocked we still don't exactly know how like general anesthetic for surgery works exactly we just know that it works uh, we, we don't know exactly what it's doing the exact site uh, so it's quite hard to uh, to work out but no if you are diving for long periods you, you will still have that narcotic effect um, some people say they, they build up a tolerance to it, but mm, scientists are a bit more um, skeptical of that. Um, you do still get the effect. Um, it might just, don't know. Um, but if you're down there long enough, yeah, you'll just become saturated to that ambient pressure. You'll probably still have that, uh, that narcotic effect. But as soon as you shallow up, and you, um, you reduce, or the ambient pressure around you reduces, then you've got like super saturation of this, um, uh, of this nitrogen. So your body naturally equalizes it out and it just, you just breathe it out uh, as long as you don't ascend too quickly. Um, so yeah, the narcotic effect, uh, no, there's, there's no like long-term effects to it. It's, it's just when you're at pressure and that's why the, recommendations if you ever feel any of the symptoms of nitrogen narcosis uh, it's just to ascend a bit and it just phew, goes away um, if you're down any longer it just takes a bit longer to um, uh, to get it out of all of your different tissues but um, no as far as the actual like narcotic effect that's relatively quick because there's quite a lot of blood flow to the brain and all the um, uh, central nervous system so no I don't think there's any long-term hangover type effects uh, if you're getting into the whole like blood chemistry and all that kind of stuff then yeah there's going to be some kind of long-term effects that's way above my uh, my wheelhouse I, I don't have a PhD or a medical background or anything so um, so that's for like Dan researchers to um, uh, to tell you but um, no, I don't think there's any long-term effects of long exposure to nitrogen narcosis. 
Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, you've got saturation divers and commercial divers who are spending hours and days and whatnot underwater at like great depths. Granted, they're not breathing air in a lot of cases, depending on the uh, the depth. But um, no, you don't have that like long term hangover effect where oh, and you feel ill or anything. Uh, we don't really get that. It's as soon as the pressure is alleviated, it, that narcotic effect just disappears. Um, there's I forget his name. He's just spent 21 days or something. He spent like the best part of a month at depth. I think it was in one of Jacques Cousteau's um, it's like old underwater habitats just to see if you can survive underwater and what effects it has on you. Um, so um, no, I, I don't think there's any long term effects. Um, but any other questions? Uh, it's an interesting question. Um, it's an interesting concept and it's it's one of those things where you probably won't find a lot online because if you search for nitrogen narcosis, it, it'll tell you what it is and how it affects you, but not like long-term effects because it's quite quick and short. And as soon as you ascend, it just goes away. Um, but yeah, interesting question. Uh, any other questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use that Ask Mark hashtag. It gets yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. Remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Check us out on all the different social media channels, uh, as well as a like and subscribe to the Scuba Diver Magazine channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.